This is the studio. The people that are involved in Chapman News are what make Chapman News really special. It gives you this group of people who want to support you always and who want to teach you new things. Wait, Dave, I'm confused. And who want to, you know, show you how to be better next week. The class is a lot of work, but you're together. It feels like every day of the week, even though the class is only Thursday and Friday, everyone's always like communicating, talking, and you're together all Thursday night. And honestly, like, I'll, I'll miss the people the most. Going into Chapman News, all I wanted to do was be on camera, and that was it. But I learned so much more. I, I mean, I found a passion for directing. I grew as a person, as a journalist. I was collaborating with all my fellow classmates. I made so many friends. Everything. Honestly, I'm really going to miss everything. The creative freedom that we get in Chapman News. We get the opportunity to cover a lot of really cool stories. And with the whole coronavirus thing, we had to switch that over into a podcast format, which is something I've never done. That was very different to really focus on telling a story with just words. This semester's Chapman News journey had a really special bond. I didn't realize how much I was learning during Chapman News until I went into the real world and saw what these studios and control rooms were like. And it's just, prepared me so much to be able to go into these real studios and have confidence. Normally interns are doing like the grunt work and that's what's expected of them. But because of my experience being at Chapman and being in a control room and knowing how the control room operates and being out with a camera since, you know, my first day of classes, I was able to show up as an intern and be able to sit in their control room and be able to have constructive feedback with the showrunner. One thing that really impressed me when I came to Chapman News was just how much everyone really cared about what they were doing. I found everyone to be extremely helpful. Everyone is very supportive, um, which I think is amazing. I have never actually been in the class of Chapman News, but I have been a TA for four semesters now. My favorite memory of Chapman News, I don't have a favorite memory, but I do value a lot of them. You know, I'll miss the friendships the most, obviously. I'll miss all the good times we've had, pretty much knowing that, hey, it's this sort of group, we're all interested in doing the same subject when we grow up and we all have a good time learning and putting on a great newscast every week. Yeah, I'm gonna miss those moments before we go to work or before rehearsal, after rehearsal, like when we're all together, eating, joking, talking, it's like pretty much that little calm before we you know we get to work and it gets serious. It's that little part where we're just, we're just having a good time. Working with the people, um, everyone's really dedicated and smart and knows what they want to do. And it's really impressive being around those kind of people. The Chapman News family really gives you resources to learn about yourself and to learn about this craft in a way that it doesn't exist anywhere else at Dodge. And I, I honestly would venture to say that it doesn't really exist anywhere else at all. Being in that kind of environment, it makes you a better person, it makes you a better reporter, it makes you a better journalist. Yeah, I, I think that the family that is created within Chapman News, this like oddball group gaggle of people who are just trying their hardest to get something amazing on the air every week, like being a part of a group like that is just, it's incredibly impactful.